Hey there and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see from the title, I'm doing a video all about my Gucci fragrances, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between of the Gucci fragrances that I currently own in full bottles. And yeah, we're just gonna go through, we're gonna go through kind of like my favorites, the mediums, and then the ones I'm having trouble with. So without further ado, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and let's get into it. So we will start with my favorites. I have, let me see, seven, eight, nine. I have nine fragrances, and four of them are in the good category. They are fragrances I love to wear. They are fragrances I wear often or that I rotate between in my collection and that I can, I know that I can reach for. Unfortunately, two out of the four are very, very difficult to find, near impossible, discontinued for ages. So we'll leave those for last in the good category. We will start with the fragrance I've been loving the most lately from Gucci, which kind of got me thinking of even doing this Gucci video because I've never done a fragrance video that's just focused on this house. So this is a fragrance I bought in Portugal and this is Gucci Guilty Absolute Pool Femme. So this is not discontinued. You can easily still purchase it. It's obviously a flanker of Gucci Guilty Pool Femme and I have it in the 30 mil. I've talked before about how much I love this bottle. I think like aesthetically, it just feels good. It just looks good. It's like the perfect thin bottle where it can still stand. It's the, it's, I just think they did a really good job, especially for 30 mil. This is a perfect 30 mil of this fragrance. I love it. Now, more importantly, obviously the scent. I've really, and I'm gonna spray this one. Let's see how many I spray. I've really come to like this fragrance. I think it does just something interesting on my skin in particular, but I smelled it on a couple other people and Everyone seems to like it for the most part. It's a very like um, current blackberry, like dark berry scent, but I feel like it's it's like sensual and sexy and feminine without being girly and youthful, but yet not super mature. It kind of like toes the line really, really beautifully. I feel like it kind of smells like the color. It even has a red wine vibe to it. Not that it smells like wine, but I just really, really was surprised by this fragrance. It's not one that I thought was going to really blow me away. And it's not like it's the most unique fragrance in the game by any means, but I think it's a really, really great flanker. And if you don't tend to be a fruity or like a berry fragrance person, but you're looking for something a little bit to kind of dip your toes into, this is a really great one. And if you're looking for something more mature and you're usually into berry fragrances, this is like a really classy fragrance that I feel like can easily take you from day to night as well. Cause it's a bit in my mind, more of a nighttime fragrance, but it doesn't go so far down that rabbit hole where you feel like you can't wear it during the day. Like in my opinion, black opium, for example, I um, don't really wear that one that often, but that's like a very nighttime fragrance to me. There are certain fragrances where I feel like are harder to wear during the day and this toes the line in a really nice way. So this definitely is in the light category. Then the other one in the light category that's not been discontinued is Gucci Bloom Aqua di Fiori. Again, this is a flanker of Gucci Bloom. There's like four, I believe, of the Gucci Blooms and I really do like this one. This is a really nice green floral. So green fragrances I've mentioned before, but I feel like they are difficult to get right and make wearable and actually nice to wear and beautiful without being too earthy and viney, in my opinion, um, or being so safe that they're not really like a green fragrance. And honestly, I don't really find green fragrances do well in the super inexpensive market. I feel like I can find like a really nice, cheap, 
inexpensive fruity fragrance or woody fragrance or floral, but green fragrances are harder to do, in my opinion, for inexpensive scents. However, this one isn't super duper expensive. Um, it is still Gucci and it's obviously a designer frag, but I feel like you can get this one on sale. I personally found mine at Marshall's, I believe, so it was, it was not retail, but I know my mom actually bought hers retail and she continues to love it. I feel like it's a pretty good, again, safe first green floral. It's not so earthy and, and deep and rich where you, again, feel like it might not be as wearable, but you definitely get those sort of like greenhouse vibes to it. It's, it's a really, really beautiful floral. And I feel like, again, this is really classy. This would be a great one, like an everyday scent and um, a safe one to wear at work as well. So I've actually really enjoyed wearing it. I need to remember to wear it some more. I, again, really love this bottle. This shade of pink is very much my jam and yeah, love that. Now we'll get to the ones, the two that I love that are in the love category, but they're discontinued. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess them, but the first one, and they are kind of versions of each other. Um, so the first one's obviously Gucci Eau de Parfum de, or two, Gucci two for women. And we'll get to the men's in a second. I love this. All the hype that was around this, from, you know, like the Kathleen Lights days and the, um, uh, like the OG makeup days where they were talking about this fragrance when it was still being sold at Sephora, but kind of like disappearing on and off are well worth it. I think this fragrance is worth the hype. I feel bad talking about it on my channel and I haven't in a very long time because I know how hard it is to find. It took me 10 years to find it, um, after it got discontinued and it is top of my list like top three for sure but honestly it's my top yeah top three for sure fragrances that i think need to come back gucci i don't know why they discontinued it i will never know why they discontinued it and when it does come back i think it needs to come back in the original bottle they would make so much money on this rebranding like a new campaign with a new star or singer to just be the face of this, it would absolutely sell. I love everything about it. I love the heavy bottle. I love the insane paperweight cap. The only thing that is a bit unfortunate is it really is not long lasting on me personally. It's crazy to say that because I know like the OGs that recommended it to me were Kathleen Lights and Makeup by Tiffany D and both of them have said like it lasts so long on them. So I do think it's hit or miss in terms of performance, but in terms of a scent, I really do like it. And I have to say Scent of Peace for Her by Bond Number no. 9, cause I've sampled that one. Um, it's in the same vein. It's not 100% dupe, but it's in the same vein. So if you like that, you'll like this. And if you don't like that, not to worry that it's discontinued because you won't like uh, Gucci 2. In that same vein, the other fragrance I love is Gucci 2 um, Puam, so the men's version. I have to say this one was a little bit more of a disappointment. I feel like I do have an exact dupe for this and it is Jill Sanders, the, the, the red cap one. Um, and it's because I have that and I own that and, and this, like I do think it's nice. It's like a tea cinnamon fragrance. It sits very close to the skin, way more than the women's fragrance. So I don't even know if this one needs to come back. That Jill Sander is like a better performing version of this personally, but I do like it. It's just, it doesn't match um, the kind of love that I have for Gucci 2 Pool Femme. All right, now we're gonna get to the middle of the road ones. And these ones I feel like I like, but I have to be in the mood for. So we're gonna start with the discontinued one, which I actually don't mind that it's discontinued, but, and it's so, excuse me, but it's very dusty and needs to be cleaned. You can see I don't reach for it often. This is Gucci by Gucci, not to be confused by Gucci Premier. This was actually a fragrance, and I'll spray this one. I haven't sprayed it in ages. This was a fragrance that was gifted to my mom years ago and she maybe wore it for like a week and could not stand it and gave it to me. 
I actually, now that I'm smelling it and I haven't worn in a while, really do like this one. It's kind of dark and sultry and and spicy and that's why sometimes I'm not in the mood for it but I know that this also has like a cult following of fragrances that of fragrance lovers that adore it including again Kathleen Lights surprisingly this one I owned before she ever talked about and I need to get back into wearing this one it has been discontinued and people absolutely love it I do want to try to find a replacement for this or a dupe for this and I'd love to be able to show it for you guys but for now I, I really do like this one I just have to be in the mood for it and I haven't worn it in years so now kind of bringing it back out for this video and taking that break I feel like for this fall I'm going to be in the mood of wearing that one another fragrance I'm not even sure if this one still sold but this is Flora by Gucci this was a gift again years ago to me and I wore it for a while all the time because you can see there's a good dent in it and then the sweetness it's a very sweet floral the sweetness in this I have no idea why I'm not sure what that note is just started getting to me and this is a 50 mil and I feel like I've used maybe like 15 mil of it if not more yeah um, and I just like it started to get to me and I've taken a break from it. I'm still on a break. I feel like the sweetness is very full frontal, but this is a very good gift fragrance to give. If there's like a woman in your life that you're unsure whether or not they'll like this, it's like just safe enough without being incredibly generic, if that makes any sense. And it's, it's a floral, so a sweet floral is a safe bet. So that is Flora by Gucci. Again, I know there are plenty of flankers, but that is the only one I own. And then the other middle of the road Gucci is actually one that's relatively new to my collection and you will have seen it in a haul. Um, and that's Gucci Bamboo. I need to actually respray this because I feel like I haven't worn it much since. Yeah. So right now I feel like actually today I'm everything smells great to me it's just probably one of those days and I'm liking it but I remember when I first hauled this I'll spray it on my hand here so I can kind of reference it I was I was a bit kind of disappointed by how like citrusy it is and how not com complex really um, I do it's I actually am one of the people that love the bottle and I feel like with the intrigue of the bottle and with Gucci being capable of creating like really really great scents like the Gucci Absolute and Gucci 2 Gucci and bamboo should have been a more interesting scent right now is not really the prime time for this so I feel like this is much more of a springtime fragrance so I'm happy to kind of pull it out a little bit more then, but this is a fragrance, again, it's not a love, but it's a middle of the road. Sometimes I feel like this is gonna be, like today, I, it's actually hard to talk about its downfalls because I'm loving the way it's smelling on my skin. I feel like it actually is interesting and it's citrusy and, and I don't know, just like nice and fresh, but I remember when I hauled it, I did not feel that way. So it's a middle of the road fragrance, but I am really looking forward to wearing it a little bit more in fall and the bottle in my opinion is to die for. All right, and finally, we are going to get to the bottom two. So these are the fragrances by Gucci in my collection that I really struggle with. I'm gonna leave the worst for last because I think the second last one, I can still come up with good points for, but <laughs> Try to guess what the last one's gonna be because I'm definitely leaving it for last place and it's a clear last place. But in second last, it's Gucci Memoir du Nodeur. Um, again, I picked this up relatively recently. I, first of all, it's a great sprayer. I went into this not blind. I knew what this smelled like and I have to say, in all honesty, the first time I ever saw this, I was so enamored with the bottle. This is one of my favorite colors in, in the world. And I sprayed it not knowing anything about the scent and I was really taken aback. There was like a very herbal urine like splash. And as disgusting as that sounds as a description, I really felt that way. It was so 
off quitting, I thought to myself, it has gone bad. Like there's no way that this is originally what it smelled like. It smelled like something else and now it's gone off. So I ignored this for kind of like years afterwards. And I kept seeing people loving it. I saw people in store, in Sephora, buying it. And they were like, I started thinking to myself that, you know, I have a little bit more of a refined nose, I'd like to say, um, than maybe like the average person out there. I've loved fragrances my whole life. Like, I don't think I'm just like your average Joe when it comes to fragrances. I'm not the most expert, but I like to think I have a little bit more of a refined, I don't know, I don't want, I want to say palette, but no, like, scent profile and I was like how are all these people like obsessed with this and I can't get on board so anyways long story short I saw it at Costco and I picked it up for a really great deal again the haul you will have seen um it's on my channel already a while ago and so when I picked it up it hasn't changed 100% for me. I still definitely see where I was coming from, but the thing with Memoir de Nodeur is it needs to stay on your skin for a while before it smells even like remotely good. The opening is the worst part. There is a really authentic chamomile tea scent. And I wanna specify that it's a chamomile tea because it really only smells like chamomile tea and not like a generic tea scent, which I do like. And the thing with genuine chamomile, if you've ever had like chamomile flowers and you're just smelling it in the jar, they don't really smell that good. It's not a fragrance scent that I would want to smell like. And because of that, like in the opening, it kind of is a bit jarring. And especially at first, I think it really did have that almost urine type scent. Now, because I'm a lot more like mentally prepared of where it's gonna smell like, what it's gonna smell like and where it's gonna go, I can give some credit where credit is due and sometimes I actually do reach for it and just smell it. Honestly, around the house, I've never worn this out because I, do, I don't feel like confident wearing this. And I think if there's one thing, or even happy, like there's one thing a fragrance should do for you, it's like, especially if you're going out, is it should make you feel how you want to feel and this is a stay at home kind of scent um maybe just like a spray and then like curl up with a good book kind of scent so this will last me a lifetime but long description to say i still for the life of me can't see how this would be a safe fragrance to recommend but people love it in droves so do with that what you will but in last place and this one just continues to break me because I really looked forward to it and it was so hyped up on YouTube and it's something else. So that is Gucci Rush. I actually love the bottle. Um, I think the bottle was part of the intrigue for me. It's very 90s and I like this more than Gucci Rush 2 because I think Gucci Rush 2 is kind of pink and clear but this is like opaque. I actually really like this. It kind of looks like a cassette tape, honestly. Um, and I'd heard it was like almost plastic smelling and I love that. I love a good plasticky fragrance. I'm all for it. Um, but oh my God, and I'm spraying it in the air because I actually will say something great about this fragrance. What I will say is the lasting power on this, incredible. Novels could be written. It will last forever and the sillage is incredible. However, if you don't like the scent, and I actually haven't worn it in a while, so I'm gonna, oh, I shouldn't have sprayed it. Okay. Some, one of you ages ago, literally a year ago when I first reviewed this, wrote that it reminds you of like screechy pineapple candy. And I cannot thank you enough because that is 100% what it is but in the worst way. Like, I cannot for the life of me describe what else is in this. It doesn't smell plasticky the way that I am familiar with or like, where like baby doll head, sweet plastic. It 
it smells incredibly unique. I could pick it out out of the crowd, like blindfolded. I know exactly what it is. And honestly, when I take very large, like long breaks in between, I am more capable of dealing with it. Like today, I'm actually, everything smells good today, but today I'm actually pretty okay with it. But at times you guys, and especially if you wear it two days in a row, I don't know what's up with this. Like I really can't, I can't really fathom what was going on. And this has been discontinued for a, a while as well. You can still pick it up um, relatively easily considering it's been discontinued for so long, but I don't know. This is a really, really unique one. Kind of unique in the way that Memoir d'une Odeur is, where I don't think it's a safe blind buy at all. But if you like it, then it, you love it. Like, I really do feel like I fall in that minority of people that's still trying to figure out what this is. But the people that love Gucci Rush, like, they live and die by Gucci Rush. So that, for me personally, is in last place. Again, it's not a scent I've ever worn out of the house and I would not feel comfortable doing so because it just makes me feel off. But yeah, I still have it in my collection. Maybe one day that will change. But till then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which of these Gucci fragrances or which Gucci fragrances you have at all. I'd love to know. Let me know what you have in your collections. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye!